Here's what I've learned. The best of the best have got the problem. We're selling, going, going, gone. Sold, congratulations. Let's have a look at the facts. What's your goal for the next six months? John, a belief that someone has may not be the truth. Isn't it? It's 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 a, a lie just that's just, been repeated. It's a story you keep telling yourself. Right. So you can keep saying, "I'm I'm no good. I'm lousy. I'm not worthy," and that'll become a reality. Or you can say, "I'm as good as anyone on the planet at this. I'm worthy of great success," and that also becomes a reality. As long as you're aligned, like if you're kind of not a good person doing good things, and everything you do has got self-interest and and the wrong intention attached to it, you know you kind of know that at a cell, cellular level. But if you really are a good person and you deserve great success because you help people and you love other people succeeding, that will come through as well. What are some of, John, you've had hundreds of these conversations. Thousands. And when, thousands. And when you unpeel the onion as you say it and you get to the core of it, what are some of, what are some of the excuses or the, uh, the beliefs? Blockages? Yes. Yeah, okay. what, what, what are the things that people... So lack of belief would be far and away number one. Right. People just don't believe at a deep level when you peel the onion you get down to it I'm not worthy of this so it's either I'm not I'm not good enough I don't deserve it which are both crazy because everyone's good enough to live a life of their dreams and everyone deserves it if you're living a good life so I think that's key Two is shift your paradigm a lot of people they they layer excuse upon excuse and I've just started in real estate and I'm this and I'm that and my markets too small and my you got to shift their paradigm which yeah. is why I had Brian Whiteman speak at ARIC, you yeah. know, and, and yeah. Brian did one and a half million dollars in his first year. So whenever I hear anyone say to me, well, you know, I'm doing okay, I've only been in real estate three years, and I'm doing 350. And I'm saying, well, I'm not here to make you feel inadequate if, three, if you're happy with 350, but I'd love to introduce you to Brian who did one six in his first year. That might shift your four minute mile. I think Matt Steinway might have talked about the four minute mile. That might shift your um, perception of what's possible. So, uh, you know, my job is is to kind of help them understand that they're capable. It's just a matter. Of, Mike Sheargold used to say, um, you know, uh, used to talk around, you know, anything's possible. It's just a matter of how. Yeah. And I agree a hundred percent with that. And Mike's a great coach. In, yeah. in, in the early days of my, well, in fact, not just the early days, many years of my real estate career, he coached me a lot. And, and it's just a matter of how. If you if you work out, you know, what does Matt Steinway do? Why is he so successful? And if you kind of were able to get some insights into that and you replicated what Matt did, I will guarantee you, you'll get similar results. Yeah. The problem is people don't replicate it. Yeah. They kind of fall short and then they give excuses and then the excuses get in the way and then they kind of lose confidence and then it all crumbles. So I, I keep peeling the onion. Um, then I say, Tom, so for you to go from 380 to a million, what would have to change? Because you probably know that, especially with some prompting. So sometimes you'll say, oh, um, you'll start with, I'm not really sure what would happen. And I'd say, let's talk about time management. Are you pretty busy? Oh yeah, I'm flat out. Well, that has to change. Because if you're flat out at 380, you're not gonna get to a million. You'll feel like you don't have the capacity. You actually do have the capacity. So I'll say, yeah, let's have a look at your idea week. So I start looking at the process, practical things. Then I look at, um, so what market would you, do you have to expand your market? So I look at, you know, again, practical process stuff. Then I talk about energy and you know, what would be the energy of a million dollar? At the moment you have 380K energy. How do I know that? Because that's what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and so you're doing 16 sales or 20 sales a year, 380, that's the energy you're putting out. You want to go to 50 sales a year and a million dollars, you need to put out 50 sale energy. So, so, so essentially what you're saying, Johnny, is before you write a million dollars, you've actually got to become a million dollar person. Habits. You need million dollar habits, million dollar energy, right. million dollar beliefs. So how do you find those? That's given you a test drive of Real Estate Gym. Let me tell you, if you're a subscriber and a member of the gym, you'll be getting videos from our co-coaches all the time. You'll be getting mentors, you'll be getting scripts, you'll be getting dialogues, you'll be getting templates, and most importantly, my prospector, your personal accountability system to make more calls, get more appointments, get more listings. From around $10 per week, realestategym.com.au, your personal coach.